Katie's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven ways that you can show yourself some self-love today and how you can really begin recognizing and cultivating self-love in your own life. I really feel like it is so important to fall in love with yourself, fall in love with your skills, your abilities, even just your thoughts. also feel like sometimes it can be a struggle to recognize the things that we love about ourselves and to not tear ourselves apart um, and to instead embrace ourselves, embrace our flaws, and really be able to appreciate ourselves even with the things that we're insecure about and hopefully learning to love those things that we're insecure about as well. So I will be talking about seven ways that I really enjoy showing myself self-love, the seven things that I think were the most important on my self-love journey, which I feel like we are always on in a way. You're always discovering more things about yourself. You're always learning new things. And I feel like the universe is just always giving us new things to love about ourselves. And that is so beautiful. I will also be sharing some journaling prompts as well. I'll be sharing four journaling prompts on how you can really begin identifying self-love and maybe recognizing some of the things that you could start doing for yourself to make you feel that love a little bit more. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe down below before you leave. And maybe if you're feeling up to it, comment one thing that you love about yourself down below in the comments. We'd love to get that space filled with some good energy and just positive vibes for everybody. And as usual, I wanted to light an incense with you guys. This one is green apple scented. I didn't expect this to smell as good as it does, but honestly, it smells amazing. It's low-key become one of my favorites. So other than that, let's go ahead and get right into this video. My first tip on loving yourself today is to do something nice for yourself. So cook yourself a meal, run a bath or a shower, clean your space, anything that kind of makes your life easier or helps you relax a little bit more. And just show yourself that you're worthy of doing something that takes a little time, that takes a little effort and show up for yourself in that capacity. And especially as I feel like as someone whose main love language is acts of service, I feel like this definitely resonates for me a lot. So if your love language is also acts of service, you might all benefit from this from this as well i feel like any time that i do something for myself that i know is taking care of myself that i know is showing my body my mind care and love and attention really helps me feel that self-love and helps me feel even better about myself because i am intentionally taking that time to put aside for myself and just make my life a little bit more relaxing or a little bit easier a little bit more joyful and it just really makes me feel just so appreciative and loving towards myself. And I really feel like really enhances that energy of self-love. And it just reinforces the notion that you do deserve things that take time and effort in your everyday life. And you are completely worthy of having those things from yourself and as well as other people that come into your life. And it just really helps create that space for intentional action and respecting your own worth. My second tip to love yourself today is to do things that you enjoy and things that make you happy simply because you enjoy them. This just shows you that you do fully deserve to enjoy the things that you enjoy doing and just because you enjoy them, not for any other motive or purpose, just because you enjoy what you're doing and letting yourself open that space for yourself. Maybe it's for your creativity. Maybe it's just something for your relaxation. Maybe it's going for a walk or exercising. Make some time for the things you enjoy as you would make time for others in your life. And on that note, think about the people that you love. I imagine you really enjoy seeing them happy. I imagine you enjoy seeing them do the things that they enjoy. It just, it makes sense to open that same space for yourself. Let yourself do the things you enjoy. Let yourself be happy and let yourself not always worry about how something contributes to your external success and sometimes just how it relates to your inner success and your inner journey and just that journey of self-love. So don't be afraid to open that same space for yourself. Let yourself have some time for your hobbies. Let yourself have some time for yourself and appreciate that time that you're taking and 
know that you're giving yourself that space and effort and as we do the things we enjoy and as we take time to even try new things that we may enjoy we learn new skills and new abilities and that may even catapult us into a even more intense energy of self-love as we realize how much more capable we are than we originally thought so do not be afraid to open that space for yourself to explore your hobbies try new things and dedicate time and energy into yourself and the things you really truly do enjoy and kind of similar to that one my third tip is to let yourself try new things and discover new things about yourself every day i feel like it's all such a beautiful thing that we are learning more about ourselves each day and each day holds another lesson and other clues we can uncover about ourselves and our strengths and just our inner power in that way so try new hobbies pay attention to the things you enjoy and fall in love with discovering yourself and watch how your self-love can grow from that discovery my fourth tip is to fully appreciate yourself appreciate your skills have gratitude for all the things that you can do appreciate all of your abilities your skills even your thoughts and let yourself fall in love with that also that comes into i feel appreciating what your body does for you as well instead of just focusing on what it looks like your body is just really doing so much for you it helps you live this life every day it helps you experience everything that you experience on the daily and i think it is one of the best forms of self-love to take care of that and appreciate that and have gratitude for that and not beat ourselves up for that um and really just think about all that your body does for you and treat it as a friend you wouldn't tear down and pick out flaws in a friend that always has your back and always shows up for you so why would you do it to yourself and your own body and your own appearance i feel that sometimes we spend so much time picking ourselves apart that we forget to appreciate this how big of a blessing how big of a gift it is that we get to experience this life in this body that we have and to recognize the fact that we only get one and it's important to i feel love ourselves and give ourselves kindness and gentleness and let ourselves appreciate our abilities over our appearance. I really enjoy taking some time to do a meditation where I focus on each part of my body and bring some gratitude to each part of my body for all that it does for me. My hands do so much to help me create, my feet, my legs carry me everywhere I need to go every day and keep me stable, they keep me grounded and even like my eyes, they help me see all the beautiful things that this world has to offer and I am extremely, extremely grateful for each and every part of my body and I just enjoy taking some time to really sit with myself, sit in silence and be fully present in my gratitude for that and that can be, that has been one really great exercise that has helped me along my self-love journey and helping me build that deep appreciation for myself so I wanted to share that in today's video in case it can help anybody else watching this and if anybody is interested, I can film a full follow along for this exercise as well that can go in another one of my videos. And just in case you want to do it along with somebody to get started and maybe get some ideas for things you can have gratitude for about your body. My fifth tip is to take yourself out on a solo date and start enjoying your own company. Start fully appreciating the energy you bring to the table and allowing yourself to be comfortable. Just being in that authentic energy and just existing in that authenticity. So go out somewhere and just enjoy life with yourself. This can be a great way to tune in with yourself and get in touch with what you really enjoy, what things you really want to do. I feel like it can really help with decision making as well. I feel like since I've been taking myself out on these solo dates, I feel like more capable of making decisions. I feel more clear on what I want. And I also just enjoy knowing that I can go anywhere even if somebody doesn't want to go with me it really opens up so many experiences and opportunities for myself where i might have just stayed at home instead i might take myself out even if nobody else can go with me and i really have enjoyed that i feel like it really shows how much fun you can be just in your own energy and allows you to be comfortable experiencing that and putting that forward and truly appreciating it as well i feel it's a lot harder to say that it was then an event or an activity was fun just because of who you went with when you go by yourself and 
you get to see how exciting and fun it can be to hang out with you. And I find that that can really bring a lot of appreciation and self-love for ourselves because we realize that we are clearly worthy of enjoying and appreciating what we are really bringing to this life. So plan a picnic day, go shopping, take yourself out to eat, maybe even just go get a mani-pedi, go get another service one, maybe get a facial. Whatever you've been wanting to do, maybe you want to go do something that none of your other friends are into and you've never had anyone to go with, go ahead and try going by yourself and just see how exciting it can be to be with yourself and be in your own energy and it might feel kind of weird at first i can get pretty anxious but after going out on a few solo dates i've really gotten more comfortable with just existing in my own energy with no buffers and nobody else to rely on i feel that has really helped me see what it's truly like to feed my own interests and let myself make each decision it really opens up so many doors i feel when you're not trying to accommodate other people and you're letting yourself just spend some time discovering yourself and things you enjoy things you like doing and i think that is so beautiful if you don't want to leave the house it could even be something at home you could just plan maybe a little movie night for yourself and make it special like you would if people were coming over make yourself popcorn set it up all cute whatever you think would make you feel like you're really treating yourself and doing something that you wouldn't normally think to do alone and i feel like that also feeds into the doing something nice for yourself as well the first tip that i shared i really think that this shows that you are worthy of effort and you are worthy of doing fun things and making plans and following through with those plans for yourself my sixth tip is to let yourself feel your emotions. Let yourself sit with your emotions and learn to be comfortable with each part of yourself, even the darker parts. I feel like this builds respect for yourself. It helps you to validate your feelings and helps you to really understand why you're feeling certain things as well. I feel like it's so important to be able to open that space for ourselves and not always push things aside and kind of like block them out and be like, oh no, I'm fine. I don't have to process that right now. And instead to kind of confront that even when it can be a little nerve-wracking a little scary and accept yourself for whatever it is that you're feeling and knowing that you can open that space for yourself even if you don't have anyone else to go to it with your emotions maybe you're not comfortable with sharing them yet and you're just not comfortable putting yourself in that vulnerability you can always know that you can rely on yourself to validate those emotions and sit with those emotions and let yourself really experience what you're feeling and Help you understand why you're experiencing that and why you're feeling that as well instead of just kind of dismissing yourself and saying that you're overreacting or it's not that big of a deal so just remember to show up for yourself unconditionally and be comfortable sitting with all those emotions that you may have and i find that when we can accept ourselves fully that is one of the biggest aspects of self-love we must be able to accept who we are at our core and accept every single part of ourselves as a whole instead of maybe something we push to the side and keep out because i feel like as long as we don't accept these things they will remain insecurities and will remain to eat away at our capacity to love ourselves fully and entirely and my seventh tip is to do things that make you feel good as you get ready and Put a little bit of effort into yourself and expressing your authenticity the way that makes you feel good and the way that makes you feel comfortable if you enjoy it if it makes you happy if you love the result afterwards do it express your appearance in the way that helps you feel the most authentic to yourself and that it helps you feel the best so take a little extra time to get ready put effort into how you truly want to express yourself just remember that you are worthy of effort you are worthy of taking time for yourself and you are worthy of taking a little extra attention into things that make you feel good about yourself so take time accessorizing your outfit wear your hair or your makeup a certain way maybe wear your favorite perfume maybe just brush your eyebrows and put on some sunscreen and go whatever makes you feel most comfortable and most happy with yourself and i feel like this is one of the best ways we can begin comfortably expressing our authentic energy outwards towards the world and start accepting ourselves and embracing ourselves for who we truly are and loving ourselves for that as well is to let yourself step out into that authenticity especially in how you express yourself to the world and making sure that you don't let other people dictate the way that you show up 
you let yourself dictate that and I feel like this just feels so good I feel like every time that I take a little extra effort into making my appearance reflect how I outwardly want to express my energy I feel so much better I always feel amazing throughout the day I feel confident I feel relaxed and I Feel like i am able to fully step into that authentic energy and step into that self-love and just fully enjoy life with myself as i am so don't be afraid to do the things that you enjoy while you're getting ready let yourself take a little extra time let yourself take a little extra effort and let your authentic self shine Now I will be sharing four journaling prompts with you guys. The first one is going to be, what are some of the things I love about myself? So go ahead and just write down a list of everything that you love about yourself, every skill, every ability, everything about your body, everything that it does for you, and just really focus on letting yourself appreciate and have gratitude for each one of those things. The second prompt is, how do I enjoy expressing myself? And this just is in relation to tip number seven and you'll just go ahead and write down all the ways that you enjoy expressing yourself maybe you enjoy dressing a certain way or doing your hair a certain way maybe you wear a certain style of makeup that makes you feel good about yourself even as far down to perfumes what scents you like to wear your jewelry maybe even what attitudes you enjoy expressing to the world and which energies you like to bring with you as you go about your day um, any way that you express yourself ex internally or externally. Journal prompt number three is what are some things that make me feel loved by other people? So you're just going to write down all the things that you make you feel loved from others, things that make you realize that somebody is there for you, that make you feel cared for. Make a list of those and then check in with yourself and see which of those things you can do for yourself and which things you can Kind of add to your routine to show up for yourself in the same way that makes you feel that love from other people and help you really cultivate that self-love and learn how you can fully love yourself in the way that you need to and number four is just what are some activities that i want to try and you can just make a list of hobbies a list of experiences places you want to visit things that you want to do in your future in the near future let it be just authentic to you, just things that you are genuinely interested in and you genuinely just want to experience. And maybe you can even use that as a guide to help structure some of your solo dates or some of your other self-care activities that you plan for yourself. And that is all of the journal prompts that I have for you today. I really hope that this video was able to resonate with you. I hope you were able to get something out of it. I hope that you were able to cultivate a little more self-love today and truly embrace yourself truly accept yourself and love yourself for all that you can do and remember to treat yourself as a friend don't tear yourself apart don't break yourself down remember to build yourself up and support yourself and allow yourself to be the best version of yourself without that voice of comparison and without that voice of negativity we can be our worst critic but we can also be our best friend and I find that on the journey to self-love, we really must focus on shifting that mindset towards viewing ourselves as something that is inferior to others and instead viewing ourselves as equal and understanding that we are all human and we all have so many unique abilities, so many unique experiences that can truly never be compared. Alrighty guys, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below before you leave for more weekly content. If you would like to follow any of my other socials, I will have those linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day full of self-love. See you in the next one.